Hello everybody, Press Bishop Gamer here, back at it with another video. And today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to use the HDMI video capture capture card. Now, this thing is pretty dang tiny, and it gives you a good bang for your buck. So, this guy can output 1080p, 30fps, 720p, uh, 30f or 60fps, sorry. Uh, whatever one you want I'm pretty sure you can do that in like OBS settings or whatever and it also works as a cam link so like say if I want to use my GoPro I could use this little bad boy which I'll make a tutorial on soon I just need to get one more thing but anyways let's get started so this guy is actually only like 13 15 dollars the cheapest ones or the most expensive ones are gonna ship the quickest or they might be USB 3.0 this is USB 2.0 difference is speed and the way you can tell the difference is if the little bar right here I don't know what to call it see how like one spots empty and one spots open the spot that's empty like that little white part there if it's white or black 2.0 if it's blue 3.0 which kind of makes a difference because you're supposed to put it into a 3.01 and if you're using a if you're using a MacBook Pro I'm not sure if it's like this on all the other MacBooks where it's only micro ports you can get these little guys this they're called USB to micro I don't know how expensive they are they come with my phone but yes yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be using anyways let's get started with this tutorial so first you're going to want to take oh wait one more thing before we get started i can't find a way to get this use i can't get this to work on xbox i know it's possible but i can't get it to work personally and i'm pretty sure it works on ps4 it might be the same thing but i'm going to be using my switch as an example so anyways what you're first going to want to do is hold on filter remove. all right so first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to OBS it's a free pretty much video recording slash streaming thing I'm recording with OBS right now actually and yeah so you're gonna want to do this this also works in Streamlabs OBS pretty much what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to add a source so go down to here click the little arrow and video capture device this will be the same on Streamlabs OBS so you're gonna want to click that and here is kind of the important part because you got to do a lot of steps at this one spot so you're gonna want to take your switches HDMI cable which looks like this that's the shape and you're gonna want to plug it into that so once you got that plugged in like that you're gonna want to take this and plug it into your USB port so do that and once you got that done what you're going to do next is we'll come back to this pretty much what this is is saying create new this is another source and what you're going to want to do is name this I personally name it switch because that's what I use it for but yeah so call that switch PS4 Xbox whatever you could also call it like some other things I guess if you're using something else like a camera but I just named mine switch so do that click OK now you're going to want to go down to here whatever down here I don't care I'm not gonna go over this but you're gonna want to go to your device and USB camera you're gonna want to click that so what that will do is give you that huge black box so if I just go down here I'm gonna put my webcam over that and so you're just gonna want to kind of full screen this this doesn't actually go to the full screen length I guess it's like a wonky size but I just find the most success of putting it here and then removing my windows but I don't really want to do that because I use that a lot but so now you're here you're gonna to want to take your Nintendo switch dock which I have right over here and turn that on so it's all plugged in and everything and once you turn that on give it a few seconds and there you go so after this what you're gonna to want to do is you can take your joy con play off of this whatever but I would recommend getting an HDMI splitter if you're playing like say a first person game or whatever all right sorry about that 
So now you can take your Joy Cons and play off of this. But again, what I would recommend do is getting an HDMI splitter. And what that is, is it takes one HDMI port, which is the cord I've been talking about, and split it into two. So I'll show you a picture of that down over here. Oh wait, before I do that, let me go back to OBS and minimize this. So my switch is still open, that just turned off, it does that. But what you're gonna wanna do is get a splitter because there is delay. It's not big, I haven't had problems with it, but that's the thing, I'm playing games like Mario Maker, which don't, while they require you to be kind of fast, they don't require you to be that fast. If you're playing a game like Call of Duty or Fortnite where you have to constantly be on your toes, you don't want to have any delay. Again, I've experienced really any delay. It feels like the same five as playing on a TV, but I guess others have experienced delay. So what you're going to want to do is get yourself a splitter. So go down to, so you can go to Amazon and get one of these. So, I don't have a splitter, again, I haven't experienced that, but here is one, this is, this is a switch, but the same thing. So, pretty much, I'm just going to label these. This is your switch, so this one would be your switch, this one would be your TV, and your thing. So, you take your splitter, and you plug your switch into the port that, into the side that only has one HDMI port. So, you plug that into there, then you're good with the switch HDMI. You don't have to do anything. Then you're gonna take this cord or this one. It doesn't really matter which order. And you're gonna want to plug this one or this one. It doesn't matter into your TV. Now what that's gonna do is it's pretty much gonna have the same effect as just plugging it directly into your TV. But now you have two ports, and you're gonna want to take the other one and plug it into the USB capture device or er, the HDMI video capture, whatever. And once you do that, you're good. You can play off your TV or your monitor or anything, and what they will see is off your monitor, camera, whatever, or off your just computer screen. So, that is all well and good, and this is a splitter, but I will show you, or sorry, that's a switch, but I will show you some good ones that are cheap. Pretty much anything along the lines at least 13 or more is good. If you really needed one, you could get one that has like seven, but that's not really worth it. All you're really going to need for this setup is two, even three maybe if you're doing something else, like you need two monitors. But apparently this one works good. It's only $13. Again, I don't need one, but I've heard good things about this guy. I'll leave a link to him in the description. And yeah, if you're like $13 and above, you should be overall good. But yeah. And one more thing before I go... You can find this HDMI capture device for really cheap, and I'm going to prove that. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. If I just go, like right here, and say I clicked HDMI capture device, if I just go there, you can see I'll find it right there. That's a splitter, but yeah, I can find it right here. And it's pretty easy. You can get this one for 20, 30, while that's pretty dang cheap you can get these things for like 15 I personally got mine for 20 but I found the lower the price the longer it takes to ship and it's only ever like a few more days so you take this one for example this is the same thing except with this one you just don't have the little pop out this one $17 really cheap I'll leave a link to it in the description same thing as mine that one's really cheap you know Got this one, twenty dollars. That one, eighteen. I'll leave a link to a bunch of them in the description. Fifteen. But yeah, other than that, I think I've covered everything. Again, I can't find a way to get this to work on my Xbox. I'm probably the one doing something wrong, but that's all well and good. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I was oh wait, I forgot to mention something that's actually kind of important. If you are using a Switch or a game console, make sure to use a headset. Because they will be able to hear the game audio, but you won't be. If you use a headset, that will display the game audio directly to your ears. And another added bonus, it will use the audio from your gaming headset instead of your computer audio. Which, depending on what you're using, could be better, could be worse. But overall, that's pretty much everything. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Good.